So without further ado, to the people of the United States of America, I am writing today because no one has asked my opinion in any poll. No candidate has sought my vote and no lobbyist taken up my cause. It seems that of all the special interests in America, mine is forgotten, unworthy of notice by politicians, activists, media commentators, and the press. It may be because I am neither a Republican nor a Democrat, nor represented by lobbyists for the disabled, senior citizens, minorities, trade unions, nor any other lobby. In fact, I am not a member of any group whatsoever. I am the individual. Our Constitution was written to protect me from the majority. I am the victim of democracy, which has overwhelmed the safeguards of the old republic and replaced the republic with mob rule. I am raising my voice now, while I am still able to raise it, if for no other reason than to let posterity know that I was still here when the ruins of our republic are examined. I have lived my life in a country that proclaims itself to the world to be the land of the free, but have watched my freedoms erode. The most basic right I had, ownership of the fruits of my labor, has been taken from me. Now, politicians argue over what portion of my labor will purchase medical care for the poor and elderly, what portion will pay social security, what portion will educate other people's children, and what paltry sum I will be allowed to keep so that I may go out tomorrow and work another day. I once lived in a country which recognized my right to do as I pleased as long as I did not violate the rights of others. of laws and regulations have been passed in the perverse effort to prevent me from even having the opportunity to commit a crime. As a result, I am rendered paralyzed, as there is almost no action that I can take beyond rising from my bed that cannot be construed by someone to be a crime or a violation. More of my property is seized to support grand adventures in foreign lands where my company's or government spreads freedom through the crosshairs of its guns. My government's invasion of countries that pose no military threat to us whatsoever has made me hated throughout the world merely for being an American and has helped enslave my children to unserviceable debts. Yes! Most ominously, even the legal protections of my person have been revoked in the name of protecting my fellow citizens against terrorism. While the Constitution guarantees me sound money, as only gold and silver shall be legal tender, I am nevertheless forced to use the worthless paper notes of a private banking cartel that decreases their value daily, providing me no safe store of value to save for my future. To aid financial speculators who produce nothing whatsoever, the volume of these notes is increased out of all reason whenever these gamblers and thieves stand to suffer a loss. As a result, the purchasing power of this slave currency is constantly decreased, widening the gap between rich and poor and destroying the middle class. I am left with no practical means to participate in free trade and civil society. I give my fellow citizens the benefit of the doubt and believe that they have merely forgotten what the true nature and purpose of government is. I remind them that government is nothing more than the collective use of force and that the use of force is never justified except in defense. It is by definition a last resort. Government has almost limitless power but very few rights. It has no right to do anything beyond protecting my life and my freedom. <laughs> Government has no right to provide for the needy with monies extorted at gunpoint from its citizens. I will gladly work with my fellow citizens to help those in need once I have a choice. In the meantime, 
I demand that my labor cease to be taken from me without my consent. <laughs> Government has no right to bring freedom to the oppressed by initiating force. I remind my fellow citizens that all of the tyrants of history justified their conquests under the false guise of liberation. I will gladly stand with my countrymen to fight any foreign power that truly threatens us, but I demand that my government immediately cease to invade foreign countries in my name. Yeah. <laughs> government has no right to manage the economy. Trade is only truly trade when it is free. The result of exchanges between people by mutual voluntary consent. There is no role for government in this whatsoever. I demand that my right to trade freely with my fellow citizens and citizens abroad be respected and no longer subject to inspection or interference. Government has no right to prevent crime. It may only punish activities that are truly criminal, and those are relatively few compared to the ocean of laws and regulations that have been passed. I demand, I demand that any law prohibiting an act that does not directly harm another person be repealed. Any law that prohibits unpopular thoughts or speech. Neither the threat of terrorism, poverty, natural disaster, nor epidemic justifies the surrender of one ounce of liberty. Finally, government has no right to rob me of my property by forcing me to use paper currency whose value is subject to its whim. I demand that gold and silver no longer be taxed as capital gain if it rises in price relative to paper currency. While I owe my fellow citizens nothing in return for heeding these demands, I nevertheless offer a thousandfold in return. My fellow citizens are running out of fossil fuel. I will discover a new renewable energy source. Our planet is growing crowded. I will unlock the secrets of traveling to others. The productive members of our society will soon be outnumbered by those less able or unable to produce any longer. I will feed them all. For it was I, the free individual, that gave you everything you have. It was I that invented the telephone, the automobile, the airplane, and the computer. It was I that devised methods to produce mass amounts of goods, making them affordable and available to everyone. And it was I that devised a system of government where the rule of the jungle was replaced by the rule of just laws. In return for restoring my rights, you will again free my creative power to give you more than you can possibly imagine and solve problems which you are unable to solve without me. I ask nothing more in return, for it is no more my right to make claims upon my fellow citizens than it is their right to make claims upon me. I hereby waive any supposed entitlement to public welfare, medical care, retirement benefits, or any other benefit that requires coercion of my fellow citizens to provide. In return, I demand that my liberty be restored. As I believe that I am the last individual left on earth, I do not believe that my tax money will be missed. However, if there are other individuals besides me that would claim their freedom as well, I invite them to join me, and to them I pledge my life, my fortune, and my sacred honor.